everyone, it's Sky here and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new. So today we have another review video. December is going to be full of them, <laughs> at least three so far, so that's pretty exciting. Um, so today we are reviewing a company called um, New Craft Day. So they are an online store selling diamond paintings and cross stitches. They came across the channel and they liked it and they said that even though we do adult coloring, um, a lot of adult colorists use uh, these hobbies as well. I have to admit I've never done either. I did buy a diamond painting a long time ago off of Wish and I never did do it. So um, these will be new to me, but if you guys like these hobbies, you might know more than I do. So, well, let's dive on in. So this is how they sent it. I'm not going to flip it over because it has my address on the back, but it's just this thin kind of like plastic paper bag kind of material. That makes no sense. Plastic bag kind of material. Never mind the paper, but I'm just going to open it up this way. Sorry if that bothers anybody's OCD. But that way I don't have to show my address. Alright, so I believe this is the diamond painting. So let's take a look at this first. So this is the diamond painting. I know it's it's kind of hard to see because it's got the wrapper on there, but here is the picture here. My camera does not want to focus. I will put on the screen the one that I bought. I'm sure you guys can kind of tell it's a blue and pink wolf. Super beautiful. So again, I don't know anything about diamond painting. They have the color list here. And then the picture on the bottom, it's a 30 by 40 centimeter. And they have that on both sides, which is pretty cool. I do like that. So from what I understand is you peel this back and it's sticky and you put your drills on there. Um, by the looks of it, these drills are tiny. Okay, changed a couple settings. Let's see if this is better. Oh, much better. Look, it's actually focusing. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, that's how small the drills are. So then we have this stuff. Not sure of the proper terms for everything, so don't come at me. I know this stuff, you stick this pen into and it makes it sticky enough to pick up the diamonds. Or the drills. I think that's what they're called is the drills. I don't know. Anyways, um, not sure what this is, but they've got one of those. <laughs> uh, we got some tweezers. Um, we have this little tray that I know that's what you keep the diamonds or drills, whatever they're called, that you're currently working on in there. So that's cool that they have that. I probably should have done a little bit of research, but I'm winging it, guys. I'm winging it. <laughs> and then we have all of the diamonds slash drills in here. So probably shouldn't open this, but I'm going to, because I want to see it. How do I open it? I'm going to keep that so I can put these in there later so I don't lose any of them. Lots of black. This is black. It's like a black or like a navy kind of blue. It's black. This is navy blue. Some really pretty colors. I like 
I like the colors. There is a lot, a lot of colors. So this is what the diamonds look like. I'll maybe see if I can find kind of like a medium color. It might show up on camera a little bit better. So just little tiny things. Not quite sure how I feel about that. As a beginner, I feel like maybe bigger diamonds would be better. Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this works. I'm not doing this. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. I usually stay away from diamond painting because I have cats and a child, and I'm also clumsy on a good day. So I don't know, maybe I might attempt. Oops. a wrong colored one in there. Imposter. Um, I might attempt this, we'll see. I don't know, maybe I'll get bored enough to try this. It might be too tedious for me. And I know that's probably crazy because I color and I kinda go a little bit overboard with my coloring, so. But it doesn't involve little tiny things <laughs> that might get everywhere, so. that was easy to package back up this I would imagine oh something escaped see this is what I mean it gets everywhere I didn't even open anything and there's already one right there so we're gonna get rid of that <laughs> I think that's the only one that escaped but I think everything was packaged really well um, it looks it looks good it's interesting that they use symbols instead of numbers um, kind of like in paint by numbers do so that's kind of interesting but it's also I, I do like in diamond paintings that they already have like the colors down for you as well so I feel like that would make it a little bit easier this is a really pretty picture so maybe one day I will tackle this um, I'm not sure what day that will be or how long it will take but if you guys want to see this completed let me know because if it's something you guys actually want then I will for sure put it way ahead on my to-do list than I would on my own so <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, packaging is beautiful. This looks beautiful. As for how it, well it works, I assume it works fine, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, next up is the cross stitch, which I know even less about. So you guys are in for a treat. I did go with this really, really pretty one that I feel like um, my mother-in-law would probably love this or it does match my art room, so if I ever did do it, I could keep it or gift it. So again, packaged super nice. We have this piece of paper with the design on the front. Looks like we have kind of like a color chart here that is Oh, very overwhelming and very confusing. <laughs> Interesting. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> Guys, how hard is cross stitching? I might have to look up some videos because this is one I definitely want to do. This is not as, as laid out as a diamond painting is because like you, I open the diamond painting and I can immediately look at the color map thingy and I know exactly what it's supposed to look like. However, I can see parts of the flower in this, but for the most part, no not getting flower <laughs> it's, it's interesting it's like abstract it's an abstract flower anyways i assume this would probably be helpful and necessary oof we got lots of yarn very pretty colors this is another thing i have cats <laughs> i use that as, as an excuse a lot but they love string cats love string it's just a thing and trying to keep them out of my art room is nearly impossible so don't know how well this would go. However, this yarn feels really, really nice. The colors are absolutely beautiful. I'm curious how you get this from these colors though, because this just looks so much more bold and vibrant compared to these colors. So I feel like you would most definitely probably get the flower, but I don't think it's going to be the same color. Maybe. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Again, I don't know how cross stitch works, so but just by looking at the colors they provide here, I don't know how that works. Okay, and then you have the, oh, that's that's just as equally confusing. 
So then you have the actual cross stitch pattern. It's a decent size. This is, I think this is the size here. So 129 by 173 centimeters. Um, again, we have the pattern up in the corner here. We have the cross stitch color guide here. It's very nicely laid out. Um, there is two needles because I almost stabbed myself. They're just tucked into the this stuff, this thing. Canvas, maybe? I don't know what this is called. But yeah, um, I assume that this is everything that you would need to cross stitch and I am curious. I might look it up because I can't say I'm not going to do it without knowing how much work it actually takes. If it's a lot of work then I'm probably not going to do it. But if it seems like it's fairly easy and enjoying and not confused and in joyful, that's not a word. If it's easy and looks hmm, therapeutic, relaxing, if it looks relaxing, if it looks fun <laughs> and it's easy, then maybe I would give it a try. So again, if that's something you guys want to see on the channel, let me know. Otherwise, I'd probably do this one on my own time if I ever did, and I probably wouldn't put it on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. Um, this is going to be like really easy to package up and put back in the bag. So I really appreciate that it came really compact and small. So that's nice. I do like that. I also feel um, like this being wrinkled doesn't matter as much because I feel like the thread would probably straighten this up when you put it in there. So really cool concept. I really like it. I can't really give this a completely honest review since these are two hobbies that I've never actually tried. So... I can tell you that it looks good and that I really appreciate these guys sending me these things to hopefully test out or at the very least show you guys. So I mean if it's something I'm not going to do then maybe we'll just do a giveaway on the channel and I'll give them out or something. I'm not sure but it seems pretty cool and hopefully those of you that are into cross stitch and diamond painting maybe find a new cheap alternative to get some new pretty patterns. Um, again, everything will be down in the description box below, so feel free to go and check that out. All right, I'm going to leave this here, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments or criticism or just information to give me, because Lord knows I need it, uh, <laughs> let me know down in the comments below. I always check those, and I appreciate those of you who leave the comments for me to check, because they always make my day. All right, well, I hope this was probably not very informative, but I hope it was enjoyful. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Maybe it made you laugh. I don't know. I feel silly. So I'm going to leave it here. All right, guys, as always, take care and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.